Chemicals are everywhere, in our homes, at the gym, in schools, and in workplaces. In almost every sector, both large and small businesses have at least one chemical on premise. They are found in cleaning agents used in most workplaces. Even the most modern offices routinely expose employees to ink, toners, and glues. Chemicals are used as raw materials during the production of goods. They are also produced through common workplace processes, such as lift truck exhaust and welding fumes. Safely managing workplace chemicals is not only your responsibility, it also makes good business sense. Healthy and safe employees lead to more productive operations. You'll also reduce the risk of costly environmental damage. The key to chemical safety is understanding associated risk, knowing what chemicals your workers use and implementing proper controls to ensure everyone's safety. Chemicals are hazardous to your health when they come in contact with or enter the body. This can happen in four different ways. Inhalation. Breathing in airborne contaminants is the most common way for chemicals to enter the body. Ingestion. Toxins can be easily swallowed if food, drinks, or hands are contaminated. Absorption. Some chemicals can be absorbed through the skin or transferred from the hands or fingernails to the mouth or the eyes. And lastly, injection. Toxins can be injected directly into the bloodstream when a sharp object punctures the skin. Chemicals come in different forms, such as dust, fumes, fibers and powders, liquids, mist, vapors, and gases. Any chemical with the potential to cause harm is considered a hazardous or toxic chemical. This includes chemicals used for processing, such as acids, solvents, cleaning agents, glues, resins, and paints. Chemicals generated by a work process, such as fumes from welding, soldering, and wood and flour dust. Chemicals generated as waste or residue, like carbon monoxide from exhaust, soldering lead fumes, or diesel exhaust from trucks. Health effects caused by chemicals depend on numerous factors including the toxicity of the chemical, the concentration in the air, the duration of exposure, the route of exposure, interaction with other chemicals present in the workplace, as well as individual susceptibility. When not handled properly, chemicals can have tremendous impact on people, the environment, and the physical property they come in contact with. This includes the lives of Ontario workers. According to WSIB, in 2014, 167 fatality claims were allowed for workers who lost their lives due to an occupational disease. Approximately 60% of these deaths were caused by cancers associated with exposure to hazardous materials. If you treat chemicals with respect, you will help keep your workplace safe. I'm Ilma Benu, and this has been your health and safety tip from Workplace Safety and Prevention Services. For more information, visit wsps.ca.